Now we continue to see the signs grow on a daily basis and we watch what's happening around the world. Now we continue to hear the schaf, the schaf at us and say, well, there's always been this, there's always been that. And like I've said in multiple videos that, yes, there's always been. There's always been bad, there's always been wars, there's always been everything, famine, pestilence, natural disasters, absolutely. But we see the signs of wars continuing to grow. We'll focus on Israel and Iran and we'll focus that what Isaiah said in 17.1, when he said, Behold, Damascus, I make it a ruinous heap. Then one day it'll be there, one day it won't. Now we saw the attack on Jerusalem the other day, the terrorist attack, and I'm reading today about a, a drone strike against Iran. And yes, they've always been fighting over the years, there's always been that tension between the countries, but we're seeing Israel attack them pretty much on a daily basis, and with these terror attacks that are happening, they continue to grow. The signs continue to accelerate. We've seen what's going on in Ukraine and Russia. We've seen the threats from Russia throughout this whole process to other countries, to NATO, to this country. We're watching the China-Taiwan situation it will happen, we just don't know when. We know when North Korea continues, they, they always have a, something to say. We see that Turkey is about to be ejected out of NATO, and I've always said to everyone that Turkey's with Iran, they're with Russia, they're with China. Don't make any mistake about it. Turkey is with them. Remember, Jesus said in Genesis, I will curse those who curse my people. I will bless those who bless them. We know what the outcome will be for Damascus and Iran. We know what will happen. Why? Because it's written and we're watching it unfold. Little by little and quickly and more quickly. So we need to keep up with the signs and we need to keep watching. Because like the Lord said, when you see these signs happening, it's like the parable of a fig tree. When you see the leaves tender, you know that summer's near. When you see these signs, you know I'm near. And we're seeing the signs continue to grow. It isn't just the wars and rumors of wars. It's everything else in this world. Now, myself, I don't like to just focus on end times as part of this channel, because we need to. I like to focus on every word of the Lord. But we need to keep up with the end times. And there are good watchmen out there that are keeping up with the end times. And I will continue to do that. Because a lot of this isn't even broadcasted, what happens in Israel and Iran. But we must keep going forward, and we must continue to pray, and we must continue to realize that the Lord is near. How near? Only God knows that. But He prepared us for those times. He prepared us for these times. Are we the last generation? I get the feeling we are. Do I know that for sure? No. I don't. Again, what I do know is what the Lord taught us and what he said would be the last days. You're seeing things quickly happen. You're seeing money. You're seeing that issue where they want to digitalize everything. You cannot be blind to everything that's happening. The word of the Lord will not be stopped. It will not be changed. It will not be compromised. Jesus is coming soon. Are you prepared? I'll pray for you as I ask you to pray for me. And we pray together for the Lord for his return. But until that day, we must occupy till he comes and keep fighting the good fight. I love you all very much, my brothers and sisters. I hope you all have a great day. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.